now for stars greater than 0.4 solar masses. Different type of animal here. For this type of a star, it does not transport helium from the core by convection. Okay, and that's important. If it's not going to transport that helium from the core, then it's going to stay there. And if it's going to stay there, then other things are going to take place here. So this hydrogen uh, fusion continues on, and there's only so much hydrogen in that core. So as the fusion decreases, as the hydrogen is used up in that core, so as that fusion decreases, it can no longer support the weight of the outer, outer layers. So the fusion process is diminishing because the fuel is being used up. And if that fusion process is diminishing, then that outward pressure from the fusion is diminishing. All right. And if that's the case, remember, we talked about hydrostatic equilibrium. That's when <clears throat> the outward pressure of fusion is in balance with the inward pressure of gravity. In this case, the outward pressure of fusion is diminishing because the fuel is getting used up. Now gravity is going to take over because we can no longer support the weight of the outer layers. Okay. Now, setting this up a little bit, you also have, while this is going on, you have hydrogen in a shell just outside the core. and it's several thousand kilometers thick. All right. It's compressed. Okay, so think about this. If the Outward pressure of fusion from that core is diminishing, all right, then gravity is going to take over and it's going to start pushing in. If it starts pushing in, that means that the pressure is going to increase. And so it, it gets compressed and compressed. Until fusion temp is reached. And remember, what's fusion temp for hydrogen? Ten million kelvins. The shell begins fusion, hydrogen fusion. Now that shell, remember, is outside the core and it's several thousand kilometers thick. And so now 
this is a much larger body that is undergoing fusion and it kicks out more energy than during the main sequence. Now remember, main sequence is about hydrogen core fusion. Well, we've, got, we've gone past that now, so we're no longer main sequence. Now we have hydrogen shell fusion, which is a, a whole shit ton more energy being spewed out. And recall that that uh, fusion energy is going to have an outward push. And now we've got more fusion energy than ever before, and what happens at this point the star expands and becomes a giant. He's now a senior citizen. This is when a star becomes a senior citizen. So now he's become a giant for the first time. This happens a couple of times, actually. Okay. Okay. Now, staying on this page, but I need more room. At this point, we got a little type uh, typo here. So it says surface gases cool to, all right, I'll cross out the word to and replace it with the word by. Okay, the surface gas is cooled by by somewhere in the neighborhood of 3,000 Kelvins. 6,000 kelvins. That's quite a drop. And we have high mass loss at this point. Because it's a giant, uh, this mass loss is because the star is so much bigger that the gases on the surface are going to reach escape velocity just by virtue of normal molecular motion. All right, so the mass loss comes out to somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, 10 to the negative 7 solar masses per year during this period. And, that, and by comparison, we can compare it to what normal mass loss is. Normal mass loss is somewhere in this range, is somewhere in the range of 10 to the negative 14 solar masses per year. All right, so that's a jump from 10 to the negative 14 to 10 to the negative 7. That's a jump of 10 to the 7th. All right, so 10 to the 7th, that's 10 million. So it's losing 10 million times as much mass per year at this giant phase than it was prior to that. All right, so it's, it's really leaching out its, its material at this point. One last item here, uh, uh, helium fusion. So when we get to the final phase of, uh, at, at, uh, okay, another typo here. At the beginning of final phase, cross out star's life, uh, cross out star's life and, and replace it with the word final phase. At the beginning of the final phase, you have a, a compact core that is several times Earth's diameter.
And at this point, it is almost pure helium. And more helium is being produced in the hydrogen shell. But at this point, there is no uh, fusion uh, in, in uh, there's no helium fusion going on right now because the temp is still too low to trigger helium fusion. Now, uh, I just want to do a little sketch here to kind of put, put things in perspective. We tend to think of the core of a star as being of, uh, of a fairly significant comparative size to the overall size of the star, but in fact, all right, if, he, if here's your typical star, if I was to draw the core, if, if this was a, a well, yeah, we'll say a star like, like our own sun, all right? So if I was to draw the core in perspective to this size, it would be about like that. In fact, I probably drew that a little bit too big, but that's about... That, that'll give you a, a ballpark idea of just how teeny tiny the core of a star where all this fusion is going on is in, comparative, in comparison to the overall size of the star. It's really quite amazing. All right, we'll pause here and go on to the next.